Sick Drunk Rescue. I gotta be honest with you folks, I feel like a kid in a candy store. Last night, I felt like uh, when I was a kid at Christmas, my grandparents and my mom used to sit up on Christmas Eve and put together stuff like bicycles and, and all the neat toys. And I felt like that last night because they were putting my new Polaris together last night and I, I just felt like I can't wait till tomorrow to go pick it up. Uh, might not seem like a great big deal to a lot of people to be getting a quad, you know. Uh, probably a lot of my friends have experienced this with a new car. I've never had a new car. I haven't lived a real responsible life as a lot of my viewers, old time viewers know. And uh, it's just good to be able to walk into a place and have them tell you, you can have anything you want in here, you know, and we'll trust you to pay for it. It, it makes me feel good. Oh, we're here. We are here, folks. Getting ready to load my new quad up onto the mole, and it kind of matches Gopher, so that's cool, too. Oh, I see that motorhome still over there that they were worried about yesterday. Anyway, we're here. I'm gonna get this thing parked and I'll come back when we're loading up the new 2023 Polaris Sportsman Trail Edition. Very excited. I'm gonna stick a GoPro in my pocket so I can take you guys with me. So you don't miss a second of the excitement. First laying eyes on it, folks. And this is Robin. She was very helpful. Mount Hood Polaris. Yes, ma'am. Very uh, helpful. Oh, man, it's so beautiful. Look at it, folks. What do you think of it out of the crate? It's beautiful. It's better, than the better than the pictures on the computer, yeah? Way better. Yeah, it's my screensaver now. My wife got home and saw it, and she said, Oh, did you now? And I said, Yes, I did. Anyways, 2023. Do you, you could probably explain it better than me, Robin. Uh, well, you bought this 2023 Sportsman 570 trail model mm -hmm. uh, with power steering, comes with a factory winch, comes with a factory for a bumper, comes with um, active descent control, which is going to help you if you're um, going downhill with a load. Kinda I checked like that engine, out. Yeah. It acts like an engine brake. Uh, it's going to be operated here on the handlebar. So you've got three modes for your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive for general use, mm -hmm. and then your four-wheel drive with the downhill is going to be your active descent control. Awesome. So that's going to be something you won't only want to engage when you are going downhill. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to use, for general four-wheel drive purposes, you'll just use the general four-wheel drive one. Mm -hmm. um, over here, we've got a single lever braking. That's going to operate all four tires and wheels mm -hmm. with the single lever here. You've got your um, high and low hand headlight switch. Uh, we have an auxiliary motor shut off here, off and on. And also this is an e-brake right here yes. if you well, squeeze it. it's a parking it. brake. Yeah, a yes, parking brake. parking brake. So you also have park built into your transmission mode over here. So you do want to make sure that when you're parked on any hills or get off of this thing and it's not running or, or running, that you leave it in park so that it doesn't creep down any hills or chase you. Okay. You know, you yeah, want, I don't want that. Leave it in park. You don't want to leave it in gear when you're not on it. <laughs> yep. Uh, this yellow button is a speed reverse override button. It, it has two functions. Uh, first and foremost, which is most commonly used for... Um, there's a speed limiter in reverse. It only allows you to go about 7 to 12 miles an mm -hmm. hour and then it's going to cut out. If you need to go faster than that in reverse, then you would push and hold that button with your thumb. Mm -hmm. Our 2007 has the same thing yeah, on it. Yeah, they haven't changed that. It's been around since the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're also going to use that... Um, reverse override is very helpful yes, it's and night and day is difference it's going to give you four wheel drive in reverse yes so if you're in four wheel drive in a forward gear and you put it in reverse it's automatically going to kick you out of four wheel drive unless you engage that button mm -hmm. uh, next over we've got your in and out controls for your worn i like winch. that so all molded in nice mm -hmm. so that you don't have anything to break if for some reason you do tip this guy over which we hope that you no do. down here we've got 12 volt power Polaris has adapted in a cute little battery tender port here I to like charge that. your battery, although they did move the battery and it's up underneath here now. Mm -hmm. So it isn't horribly inaccessible. 
I like this a lot better. Yeah. Our other Polaris, the 2007, has the battery up under there. And this and... is just real nice to, puts it right up there where you can get to it. The headlights are better too. That's can you show way. them the... We got some, some, some LEDs going in here. Yeah, very nice. And then we come to your key switch. So you do get two keys with it. This does start with the key, but if your hand is not depressed on the brake, it won't start. Oh. So if you want to go ahead and depress that brake, we are in park, so I'll turn the key until your guy starts. Nice. And then you've got your multifunction display gauge here, which is going to give you um, your fuel. What, if you're in park, if you're in two or four wheel drive, miles per hour going to come up here. And then we can scroll through for other options like your RPMs. Um, odometer. You've got two resettable trip meters. Can we just go back to the odometer and hour the meter? Because it'll never. Point six miles. Yeah. <laughs> point six, folks, yep, and, point and then six the miles. hours. We are getting to that here. Point three. That's awesome. It'll never be the same, folks. It won't. It won't. <laughs> uh, Polaris does have a nice little service countdown clock here to your first service. Oh. It's going to be your oil change. Mm -hmm. So they want you to change your oil in. 25 hours or 500 miles, whichever comes in. And we will quicker. do that. Yep, and so that little wrench will pop up on your dash and let you know that it's time for you to do your first service. Okay. Um, and then this is a keyed power timer. So anytime the key's in power, even if the motor's not on, that is ticking away. Okay. So the key's been in power for approximately 25 minutes mm. um, total. total. I can span. smell the newness. Yes, the newness, <laughs> the exhaust smell. Yes. Uh, lots of people like to see what their engine temp is, so I, I like mm. to leave that on here um, when you yeah. guys leave here because your miles per hour come up and then you can see motor temp. Yeah, and then you make sure, especially in winter, you make sure it's warm enough to... Yeah, you yeah. definitely want to make sure you know it's up above 80 degrees before you jump on it. And okay. Move. So just let this thing start and idle and, and warm up. And then we already went over your four-wheel drive switch, which is here, so two-wheel, mm -hmm. four-wheel, four-wheel drive descent control. And then you've got your gear selector over here mm -hmm. for your park reverse neutral low and high range and, and you've got a rear brake on the floor so that's going to operate rear only yes but this one operates all, all four, four brakes yeah so that's going to be your main braking mm -hmm. yes and i like that this is all electronic now it it's is. not cable yeah, operated no cable. anymore so so it's electronic so it doesn't go out of adjustment yep very nice. It's Definitely just Definitely recommend that you run premium on leaded fuel. Okay. Um, if not premium, non-ethanol, if it's going to sit for long periods of time. Okay. Just because our fuel is not amazing. It's not fuel. good. <laughs> so th that's our recommendation. Okay. Um, if it's going to sit, put non-ethanol in it or fuel stabilizer, if you know what that is. Fuel stabilizer in our premium fuel will keep it for, for a bit longer. Okay. Since you are familiar with the Polaris product, because you have a Boulder 500, do you have any other questions? I really don't. I actually, <laughs> well, I was just telling uh, my viewers on the way over here that it was like Christmas last night. And I met Robin, they actually had this put together yesterday. I did. And yeah. I didn't want to bother them, and I missed her call, and she left me a voicemail saying it was ready. Yeah, gotta check them. I just love the looks of this. Robin, to me, this seems a little bit bigger than the 500. It has bigger tires on it than your older 500 has on it. So physical size-wise, they're very, very compatible. Yes. And another thing that I really like about this new one, the old style has a McPherson strut front suspension. This one, the trail edition anyways, has curved lower control arms down there that give it it's got 12 inches of ground clearance just about right about 12 inches yeah it's definitely going to help you going over rocks and boulders yeah well we do have a creek that we cross it's not that it's not that deep it's only about a foot deep but it has big rocks in it and we go slow when we go over it but oh it's just beautiful i'm so happy thank you man well, thank you god Mount Hood Polaris, folks, if you want a, a really nice new machine, this will get uh, make my life a lot easier out on the property, out on the classic truck ranch, and help me haul tools, parts, and get back to the swim hole when I'm tired. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it's let's beautiful. Get you on this, I'll get this door open. Okay. And you, can, uh, you said you had a trailer, so you got yeah. a way to get it up there. Yep. Okay. 
you have any other questions for me? No, you've been uh, super helpful. Oh yeah, it is. It is bigger than the other one. I think the way that they designed the new plastic seems bigger. I mean, it's the same footprint as your old one. They it's bigger. <laughs> it's just taller, I think. Yeah, it, I mean, it's got two inches bigger tires on it, so that's yeah. definitely gonna give it a little bit bigger feel. These are way more aggressive. Oh, got to have the brake going. Right now, You have to have the brake on to move the shifter. Oh. Here we go, my first ever ride. That's me. Thank you, Thank you Rob, and I will. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. there and I got books I got books and stuff I got documents and it's all legal it's got like a sticker for off-road legal in Oregon oh look at it folks and look I got a new tripod that matches it too oh yeah Oh yeah, you know it, folks. won't be needing the winch today folks no winching required The little grippy things. So they they screw in to these holes. Oh yeah? Yeah, they're real easy. Uh, I bought mine from Beaverton, but these guys should have them. But these things are great because you just screw them in. Oh. They just screw in. That's Colton. It. Yeah. They make a lot of accessories, but, don't they? Well, yeah, and you take that and you push this button. It's easier when you're standing up. Yeah. But it opens up it's just a claw well you can hold well, all they, kinds they of stuff in for, there they show it for a rifle yeah but like i use it for my weed eater i use <laughs> it for rakes right and, on and then this chainsaw oh must have yeah and it mounts to the bar real easy Colton makes that too I, I got the bar separate i had to get this and then put it on there but, oh you got the vice yeah. <laughs> i just know the same color and everything yeah how do you like it how long have you had it i've had it since april but yeah. it's like we use it on our farm a lot. Yeah. And you know. Maybe you had a couple issues well, with I it. I brought it in because it needed the recall. Tell me, where is your maker now? There was a recall in the 570s for a wiring issue. You think they already dealt they with that have. on mine? They should have, yeah. Um, okay. Because it caught fire. Is what it oh no. Mine didn't, but. Oh no. Uh, so they did the recall and then. Uh, they, I gotta assume if they're putting a like, new one together, they're you, dealing with they that. Y'all need to fix yourself. Come on now. Fix yourself. Yeah. These guys would have told you if they hadn't. Um, Other than that, how are but you? But I had to replace the ignition and the spark plug already. Yeah. So I was a little surprised because it's less than a year old. Yeah. 
touch the damn rose. But I got an I got an 850 at home, which is my wife's, and I mean it hasn't had any issues yet. Knock on wood. We just had it in, had the service done, and it's running okay. Uh, this is the first time I've had a Polaris. Before that, I had a Honda, so it's like. Are there things about it that you're happy about? I like it. it it's yeah. a good machine. It climbs well. Uh, we have a lot of hills on our property, and I mean they're steep. And I put it, I put it into that uh, descent control. Yeah, and it does actually really, really helps well. out. Yeah, right on. So I mean, I, I haven't been unhappy with it at all. Uh, I'm talking about trading it in because now I'm looking at the two seaters over there. <laughs> So you can take your wife with you? Well, because we have hers, but like her mom lives with us. Yeah. And she sometimes wants to go. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> Trying to throw her on there, it's just not comfortable yeah. for her. And gotcha. So I told her, I said, it might be nice to have one two-seater and then have her 850 instead. Yeah. But so far, it's been a good machine. All right, well. I don't, I don't have any complaints other than the fact that I don't think the spark plug should have been fouled already. Yeah. Might be the gas we're getting too, though. You know, we're yeah. getting some really crummy gas. I, mean, I, I went, I went, I'm not the Eagle Creek, so I went to the Shell down the street. Yeah. yeah well, I'm in Malala. Yes. We've, we've got a good gas station right? too. <laughs> some people say if you put premium in them, they're be it's better, like running in like a lawnmower. I don't run uh, but, regular unleaded in anything yeah. I own because it's just got to be garbage, right. you know? Yeah. But yeah, this thing, I mean, it gets it done. I haul hay with it. Right on. That's the other thing. Get yourself the hitch up in on there, you know. Oh, I've already got it. I yeah. stopped and got it on the way here. <laughs> yeah. No, I got it. I, I ordered the rear bumper, a cover for it. Yeah. I don't use my cover very often. Um, I got my cover for when I'm, you know. Well, you probably it. have a garage or a well, barn I mean, or something. Most of the time, I just go to purple. Right? Yeah. I use them every day. Yeah. Um, and it's like, so, you know, it, it does okay. I noticed, like, the seat on my wife's is starting to get color change already. Yeah. So we try to cover it. I want to get a shelter built. Before I'm building a shelter because we've got an older uh, 500, but we bought it. Uh, it only had 50 hours on it. Yeah. I'm going to get this loaded up. Uh, but thanks for the insight. I appreciate yeah. that. Have a good one. You too. Load up, folks. See the inside of the tires. I wish I could describe the smell to you. It has that smell of new fluids burning and it just smells so good. Wow, that actually fits pretty good on there. Not perfectly, but that's not gonna happen. I think we're good. I got a dirty folks. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, at least I know I can haul both of the quads on the trailer. Oh, I love it. I love it.
Well, let's hope uh, this puppy don't want to catch fire on me. Don't do that to me, my new friend. Be nice. This will take my tags off. This will be my quad's first time touching the ground on the property. 
not ideal weather sprinkling a little bit cold as heck <sighs> cold as heck but uh we're gonna go for our first ride together we just should there she goes folks <laughs> classic truck rescue i'm on red but look at What's that right there? I don't know what he's named it yet, but... Ricky got a man machine. Yes. There's the old boy now. Are you excited? Yeah. It's going to be fun, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, coming in hot. Oh, gloves. Gloves. My hands are cold. Pausing. That didn't sound good. Plastic. Hey! You see that poking out? It's an orb! orb <laughs> I spoke too soon! raining again. No. Uh... Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Crying's up for me. Those <laughs> raindrops keep falling on my head. They keep falling. But there's one thing I know. The blues they sent to greet me Won't defeat me It won't be long till happiness Steps up to greet me But I'm done But I'm done You viewers don't know about this yet I but That is Elvis Buble Elvis Buble oh, comes I out on special occasions Birthdays, Christmas <laughs> Those raindrops keep falling on my head, they keep falling. Oh, Elvis Buble, folks. You ready to roll? I can't film though. 
I know. Let's just go out front. Okay, I need to put my camera away. You got storage compartment. Put it in my pocket. No, I, I'm getting a box for the back. Oh. Lead the way, honey. We got to the pasture first.
Yours is very similar to mine, honey. It rips pretty good. I think they're about the same power-wise. I think I got like four more horsepower than I yours. I don't care about power. They're just fun, huh? I saw that. I hate the way they litter out here yeah, and it's it's always right in this area. You go ahead, honey, let's go buzz the pasture one more time. Do it. Oh, it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Pretty cool, huh, James? Yeah. I did put a new front bumper and a rear bumper on Jamie's. I'll have to. I've got a rear bumper on order for this one. Mine needs to be pressure washed. The, well, we should wash them both. I'm going to be building real quick a lean-to over there against that container. That we can put both of these and the lawn tractor in. The lawn tractor, I think I only owe like two more payments on. That'll be good. It's just still a real good machine. We've only had it a couple years. Probably ought to feed my chickens. They got neglected today. <clears throat> They're about the same size, huh? Oh, yours is a little well, it's a little taller because it's it got the different suspension and the uh, bigger wheels but That's i mean the body because i could any taller i wouldn't be able to stay i got like this much well clear. that looks you fit perfect on this one i'm comfortable on it i like it yeah and it's a comfortable ride huh yeah mama's happy mama's happy 
<laughs> All right. Well, folks, thanks for coming along for our ride. Some people may think this was a bit of a, a splurge or something, but we have 25 acres of property that we've had for seven years. We've worked our tails off out here. And what more could you ask for to accentuate the experience of living out here? We can get back to the river in a heartbeat, in comfort. Uh, they both have trailer hitches. They can help us work around here, take some of the load off of the Kubota, unnecessary tractor hours, and we don't need to ride the lawnmower around unless we're mowing the lawn. And uh, I just praise God. I praise God for this, and peace out. And what did we say, honey? Peace out.